Hello Cancers, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. So, first of all, um, I have a little bit of start, stop, start, stop type of energy between you and another person. And um, it, it almost feels to me like there might be geographical distance between the two of you. Where, uh, wherein, um, you know, when you guys are together, the relationship is great, there's a lot of plans, there's that hopeful, optimistic energy where you both feel like, yes, this is the right person for me. And then when you're apart, you're kind of caught up in your own life, they're caught up in their own life, and then, you know, there's the relationship feels like it's stalled, or there's almost like um, lack of consensus about where are we headed? What are we planning to do? How do we get together? How can we remain in the same geographical location? Do I give up my job? Do you give up your job? And things like that. So I feel like some of you might be dealing with that sort of a start stop energy. It might not even be the um, geographical distance. But it's just the idea of having different goals, having different plans. One person might want to live in the city. The other person wants a, a house, you know, a ranch in the countryside. And so lifestyle changes, ideologies, um, what it means to have a family. You might not even agree on these things. So I feel like, you know, there's this start-stop flow to the communication into the plans between you and another person. I'm feeling as well... There's a lot of, it's almost like life for one person is accelerating and then life for the other person is stagnating. And uh, that should not, you know, make or break a relationship, but it can if the other person feels like they're outgrowing the relationship. So let me talk about this. I don't feel that this is you. I feel like this is somebody that you're dealing with. We have here a, um, this is the Knight of Cups, okay? Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is somebody that is can be very sweet, can be very charming, very, very likable. And um, for whatever reason, I feel like this is somebody that likes to cook for you, that likes food, that likes, you know, drink, that likes a good life and that likes, you know, the luxuries in life as it relates to fine dining, uh, as it relates to food, as it relates to like making sure that you're well fed. Okay. When it shows up in the reverse position, it's somebody who is, um, it, it's hard to have an emotional connection with them. So they might be running on, the, on empty. They might not be the most emotionally introspective person that you've ever come across. And I feel like this is an energy of a person. So this is a water sign. And I, I also feel like it might be, you know, their sun, their moon or their rising, not just their sun sign. Um, so Cancer, another Cancer that you're dealing with, Pisces or Scorpio. And when I see this card, I feel like you care about somebody, you like somebody. But a lot of the times too, when I, I just feel that you, you could be male or female watching this. And I feel like, you know, the, the concept of gender roles apply very strongly to you, wherein you feel like men are supposed to do this, women are supposed to do this, okay? And so you might also be dealing with somebody who kind of defies these stereotypical gender roles. So they might be uh, a woman that you're dating and their energy can be very masculine. They're super, super charged. They're not, you know, traditionally what we associate with the feminine ideal, where they're nurturing, caring, emotionally available. And so you're dealing with somebody, yes, they care about you, but they're not a mushy, fuzzy type of a person. And when you're with somebody, you want that emotional connection to, to feel that it's real, to feel safe and to feel secure. And I'm also sensing that you're, you're with somebody who has been through a lot of turbulence in his or her past, somebody who, you know, travels a lot or has been through some really deep, dark stuff. Okay. So I honestly feel like they've just had a, a very interesting life. But I feel like you look at their life and you, you look at the decisions that they've made and you look at the person that they are and I feel like you care about them. 
but it just feels to me like there's so much that they have been through and because of they've been through so much they had to block out that emotional trigger within themselves in order to cope as a coping mechanism and so you're meeting them you know after they have already overcome all of these ordeals this is a six of swords um, it's somebody that you know has been through a lot and has learned from their past mistakes when it's in the reverse position I feel like they might be a little bit crippled by their past mistakes and so they turn off that emotional side to them as a defense mechanism as a coping mechanism and so invoking that emotional side to them is very difficult it's very challenging and so while you care about this person i feel like there's definitely a lack in emotional investment or an emotional openness between you and another person um I, I feel like for some of you, your partner might feel that this is you, might feel that about you. And uh, they're trying to reach out to you, but it just seems like there's a, a, a barricade. There's like an emotional barrier in, um, it's like inadvertently put up by somebody, by you or by the other person. That's not allowing the relationship to grow deeper. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling here doesn't mean that it can't work it just requires a lot more vulnerability it requires a lot more patience from both sides to kind of crack through that exterior that that tough that none feeling aloof type of an exterior oh you're coming out again so we have here the ace of wands and the ace of wands this is a situation where we let our passions kind of you know get the best of us okay this is like attraction chemistry feeling really 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 attracted to another person when it's in the reverse position it's sort of like feeling that physical connection with them but not feeling anything else okay and then you know choosing to 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 go with it feeling like oh maybe that's enough maybe i just really want this person i'm attracted to them i have the hots for them and they like me and they make me feel wanted and needed so even if it's temporary i feel like some of you are dabbling in a one night stand short-term love affairs some of you might have already done this in the past where there were um it's almost like you you went out had a really really good time and you're just like even though the attraction is only very it's very physical and there isn't that emotional investment you still got involved with that person and um i usually think of this as you know being involved with somebody who's already in another relationship or you being involved with someone when you were in an in a relationship yourself so it's like choices that were made when there was alcohol involved or even choices that were made that were not in your best self-interest okay or, or in your your higher good not so much your best interest because i feel like you wanted someone you wanted someone that you knew would not be good for you and i feel like you know passion and desire took over and the the interaction on a superficial level it was nice and you felt like maybe that's enough and it turns out it's not really enough. And I, I do see some point, uh, disappointment associated with this. And I also feel as well, there might have been um, other messy entanglements as a result of getting involved with this person. You know, you might have the same group of friends, you might have to see them again, or I feel like they were involved with somebody else and then that opened up a whole other can of worms. And so the situation became kind of like, how do we dodge these people? How do we, um, I, I honestly feel cancers. I feel like you were involved with somebody else um, while you were dating somebody else. And I feel like promises were made and rather than owning up and you know setting the situation straight, I feel like you dodge responsibility. That's what it feels like to me. This is a card here about, you know, social dating. This is a card overall about having a lot of options on the table and 
going with your, you know, baser desires rather than going with, you know, um, with your higher guidance, okay? So making a decision that allowed you to feel temporarily good, but in the long run, it can leave you feeling very, very depleted. It can leave you feeling empty and it can leave you feeling like, why did I do that? So I feel like some of you are still grappling with this decision or still are dealing with it and it's not a comfortable space to be in. Um, if you are dealing with a water sign as well, I'm sensing there is some third party interference in that relationship as well. Another water sign, so another Pisces, another Cancer, another Scorpio. I do feel Scorpio and Can uh, Pisces coming out strongly for, for you guys. Okay. So for those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, I, I really like this card because I feel like this is... Um, it's not something that you see in the traditional Rider Waite deck with the Page of Wands, but this Page of Wands is very, very elegant. Um, I like the depiction of it. So first of all, we have a fire sign. This is the Page of Wands, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody I feel like quite exotic looking, really beautiful, dresses well, takes care of herself, grooms her hair or his hair. And you know they're 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 um, they're adventurous, but they it's it's almost like a, a fire sign mixed with some type of Virgo where they they're really careful about their appearance. They care about the way they look. They care about you know the the persona and their appearance, not in just for vanity reasons. But I feel like it's because they do care when they're with you. They want the way they look to be a reflection of you. They want you to be proud of them. They want you to be happy with the way that they look when they're with you. So I feel like it's somebody that is very, very considerate, very kind, very loving, and very nurturing. Um, they like adventure, but I feel like, you know, they're kind of um, scoping the horizon for somebody that can be a life partner to them, but also can be um, somebody that they can have adventures with. So they're looking for a best friend as well as a relationship partner. So they do want that, you know, uh, spirit of adventure, but they also want someone they can emotionally connect to. For some of you who are dealing with this fire sign, we have here the Two of Cups, and this is a really, really beautiful energy. This is somebody that you really like as a person. This is somebody that um, I feel, you know, the, the meeting the might have been very faded, might have been very serendipitous, the way that you met, the way that you came together. And you might as well have mutual friends. So it might start out as a friendship. It develops into something more. So you have a great deal of respect for this person. Um, between you and this person, the love, the passion, the chemistry, the friendship is really, really strong. It's very solid and it's very stable. However... There's an element here about how is this going to work? How are we going to work things out? How are we going to be together? I feel like there might be some logistical issues between the relationship or in um, affecting the relationship. And if they're at a distance from you, that might be it. You're trying to find ways to navigate the situation. You're trying to find ways to make things work. You're trying, you know that this is a really good person. And um, usually, you know, uh, they're fire, you're water. So there's an element here about needing to really know each other in order to make things uh, be a lot more harmonious, in order to understand what the other person means, and in order to ensure the long-term longevity of the relationship. When it comes up in the reverse position, I also feel cancers. You might be hiding something from this person. Um, they're 100% in, I feel. They're honest, they're faithful, and we have this magician energy here in the reverse, which means there's something that you might be hiding from them. There are some things that you're not sure about, but you enjoy the interaction between the two of you. And so if you are dealing with this person, aim to be very, very straightforward, very honorable, because this is someone that 
they they need to really look up to and admire their relationship partner otherwise they wouldn't be around so if you fall from your pedestal that's it they're not gonna look at you twice you know they're not gonna waste their time so I feel like there is a lot of potential here for those who are single and encountering a fire sign Sagittarius Aries Leo Sun Moon or Rising there's great chemistry great rapport great friendship that can be had with this person but I feel like you're not really sure if you want to pursue things further or you're not really sure you're trying to overcome some obstacles that's preventing the two of you from coming together I hope you're trying to do that rather than, you know, trying to hold some information back from them. OK, so operate more from the higher vibration when you make decisions. OK, so let me see what advice do they have for you here for the month of November 2017 in terms of your love life, your romantic life and your relationships. So we have here the devil and the devil is a situation where we're kind of like um, stuck in a situation that's not entirely healthy or guided or tempted by baser desires. OK, and um, I feel like this is what we're if, if we're talking about advice. This is their advice for you. This is someone who's got it all. You know, he's um, he's on his throne. He's got a lot of um, opportunities that he's looking at. This is what I call like a very, very attractive person. He's um, he or she is quite flirtatious. They have a lot of people kind of throwing themselves at them. OK, so I feel like this might be your energy cancers where you're at a point where you have a lot of suitors. You can pick and choose among the people that you want to be with. You also can pick and choose people outside of the relationship. And no one would find out because, you know, you're smart, you're strategic, you know how to cover your bases and you know how to uh, influence a situation so that you don't get caught. And I'm also sensing as well, if you're dealing here with a fire sign, this is a fire sign in a relationship that might feel very, very restricted. It's causing you a lot of stress and strain and breaking away from this might be a good idea if this is somebody that is overpowering you or is bringing you a lot of stress and a lot of strife and they might be accusatory okay they might have a very 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 jealous streak they might be accusatory keep in mind that a lot of the times when you're in a relationship and somebody is jealous without any reason it's also because they're cycling through worst case scenarios and they themselves might have the tendency to stray in their relationship. So they're kind of projecting that insecurity and they're projecting, you know, the their trust issues onto you because they have the proclivity to step outside of the relationship. So I feel like you're dealing with someone that's really stressing you out. That's accusatory. That's very, very jealous. If that is the case, that is a very, very toxic relationship. So you, you might want to see yourself out. On the other hand, if you're kind of like on the, I guess, like the, the, the flip side of this and you have temptations coming into the picture and you yourself, you're trying to keep yourself chased. You're trying to keep yourself, you know, you're looking for that not just a, a one night stand, but like an emotionally secure relationship. You try, try to hold yourself back. Try to operate, like I said, more from the higher vibration of it. Don't do things you might regret. Don't step out on the relationship. And if a relationship is too restrictive, get out of it before you stray or before the other partner strays. So I do see a lot of temptation coming into the picture. I do see you at a point where you can pick and choose. You can step out on a relationship and totally get away with it. But I feel that you're hesitant because you don't want to hurt other people. You're also in a relationship where you're hesitant to leave because you don't want to hurt the other person or the other person you feel has a lot that they've been through already. You don't want to be, you know, that last straw that breaks the camel's back. You don't want to leave them at a point where they're very exposed and very, very vulnerable. So you're kind of biding your time. The bottom line is I feel like the relationship is not all that great. I feel that the relationship is very um, fear ridden. OK, it's uh, there's a lot of fears here is what I'm sensing. 
so it doesn't seem to me like it's completely healthy so you know see your way out okay so cancers i do wish you all the best and if you're dealing with this please you know reach out to family members reach out for for some guidance reach out for help and um you need to start taking care of yourself okay don't um stay in a situation because you fear that the other person is going to turn for the worse okay it doesn't look to me to be entirely healthy all right so i hope that you can get yourself out of this um please take care of yourself i do worry about you you and uh, and the cancer uh the piscean people i do worry about you not so much scorpios mainly because you have such a good heart and you're too open your energies are very very open and you're susceptible to attracting uh, people that might want to dominate over power or even look at you more like a, a sexual conquest okay so just please be careful about that okay so take care of yourself i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye